day everybody i hope everyone had an awesome sunday um mine was pretty good so church in the morning um i wasn't able to use my car again unfortunately but i did go out before church and turn on my car and then look under the hood while the car was running something i haven't done yet um and i was able to see this one particular hose that kind of goes over the engine dripping but it was dripping <coughs> right down exactly into the place that the smoke was specifically was coming from so part of me thought all right that could be what the problem is um, later on after the after I got back from what I did today um, I got under the hood and actually checked the oil which is something the that I was overdue doing was changing the oil and basically I went way too long without oil and without changing my oil and it wasn't registering any oil in my car so that seems like a much more likely culprit of the smoke um, and that also might maybe somehow I don't know how exactly how engines work might explain why I'm eating through the the steering fluid so much I mean it could be just because it's leaking faster it could be because somehow, I don't know if it's even possible, somehow it's drawing from that instead of the oil to hydrate my engine. I don't know how to, what else to say. I checked the water, the, um, what was it, coolant, the water, not coolant, water. I don't know much about engines. Um, but checked right in that, and that was still full of water. So, um, basically if it was low I would need to add water to it from what I understand but it's it stayed pretty full so that's not the problem <coughs> so what I'm gonna do tomorrow is I'm gonna go um, borrow my truck my dad's truck for um, work again because I'm working two o'clock in the afternoon until close um, so I'll be out all day and be out late so I don't want to risk something else happening with my car so what I'm gonna try to do get up in the morning take my dad's truck go over to one of the auto places auto zone or discount auto parts or whatever and buy some probably not discount auto parts just because of my history with them um, get a couple things of oil and pour one in my dad told me to wait 10 minutes and then pour a little bit more of the second one in and keep going until I reach the desirable level and then run my car for a while and see if it smokes basically if it starts to smoke still then it might be the leak um, of that hose if it doesn't then this could hopefully be at least for now the problem being solved temporarily until the next thing comes up and really all I have to do is wait until I have a solid idea of what my monthly income will be which come Saturday will be one month at Planet Smoothie so um, I won't quite be there yet but hopefully I'll get to a point where I can see this is how much I'll be bringing in every month this is how much my bills already are if I were to add a car payment onto that would I be able to handle it um, hopefully the library is going to happen it happens I get some news soon. Don't know for sure, but whatever. Um, so basically, went to church. After church, we met up with Jesse and his wife Heather, and Jesse's parents, and Heather's parents and sister, and me, Josh, and Heather. Because me and Josh were in the wedding party, and they invited Heather along because she's usually with us. And so, yeah. So we went down to I Drive. We ate at Yard House, um, which was all right, pretty good. I got a four cheese pizza, is what I wound up getting, which I don't usually get pizzas at places like that. But the cheeses that were on it, it just made it taste a lot like a calzone, but a little better than a calzone because it wasn't quite as solid uh, crust breading on the outside and weird cheese on the inside and dipping the sauce. It was all together. And so it was a little better than a calzone, I think. Anyway, I really enjoyed it. And then afterwards, we went up to Jesse and Heather's. And um, we were thinking maybe Jesse's brother Andy would come. 
He never did. I don't know if he made it at all or if he wound up staying up. He lives in Gainesville. Um, he wound up staying up there after all. But we were under the impression he was going to make it and then he didn't make it. So it is what it is. No big deal. So we played a game of spades <clears throat> after playing a, a couple of rounds of Mario Kart um, when Heather wasn't ready to play because Jesse's, Jesse's wife, Heather, doesn't really play video games. So she had a couple things to do while we played eight races. Um, I did mediocre at best because we raced the 200 cc's, um, which is the crazy fast one. And then we played spades, and I started out not doing too well, kind of in the back. Basically, I only successfully met my bid one time when I guessed three and got 30 points out of it. My the rest of my score was two amazingly successful um, nils, which gave me 100 points each time. So my final, and then and then a successful bid at the very end of 20 to keep me ahead of Jesse because Jesse was 20 points behind me, and so I was like, I have to. So he bid two, I had to bid two and make it, and he had to make it, and I would still beat him. Um, so it was really close at the end, but it was a good it was a good match, a good card game. I don't know what you want to call it, game. But I pulled it off at the end and managed to win. It doesn't happen often for me, especially in, in spades. So I'm happy that happened. Came home and I've been talking with my grandma for a little while and figured out some more things about my car. So tomorrow hopefully I'll get some of that resolved and I work the rest of the night. So good night everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.